Good morning. It's 4 a.m. <laughs> Gigi has been up for quite a while. She just doesn't want to sleep. Like, she's just, like, wide awake. It's crazy. She's been so much better about sleeping, but the past two nights, we just jinxed it. <laughs> but I just had myself a delicious bowl of my favorite vanilla checks, and I'm going to try to go back to bed. Don't worry. I'm not the only one up. Tyler was up, too. But, um... Yeah, we had plans tomorrow, but since she's still seeming to be slightly sick, and I don't know, we'll see how she's feeling in the morning, but I was just letting our friends know that I don't think we're going to go to the, there's like a little Santa party, I'll tell you more info tomorrow, it's really cute, but I'm not sure that we're going to make it to that, just because I, if she is sick, even still slightly contagious, I don't want to get the other kids there sick, that'd be awful, so we will see. That's the kind of noise you make when you're trying to be super quiet while Gigi's sleeping because oh, yeah. we just got her to sleep. Anyway, we didn't. She's awake right now. Hi, Gigi. She is into that mini mouse. Um, by the way, she doesn't spend all her time in that walker. I feel like no one said that, but I feel like every time in the morning we're in here getting stuff done, it's just convenient to have her in there. It's like part of her little routine. Hi, monster. But she's not always in there, I swear. Long. Yeah, exactly. In the morning when we're just getting stuff ready. It's a it's a convenient time. So he's got his broth he made yesterday. <laughs> so it's just like a mirepoix, which is onion, carrot, celery. So parts of the leek went in. Uh, it, it's kind of easy. It's just kind of whatever you have on hand. Sometimes, it's a great like, way to get rid of like old vegetables that are starting to turn. Yeah, not bad, but just starting to. Yeah. Um, but it's really good. And honestly, we use vegetable stock interchangeably a lot of times with chicken or, or beef. Yeah, it uh, doesn't really matter. But then like I made chicken stock the other day and that was awesome. There, there is a difference definitely. Parsley, thyme, uh, bay leaf, and then you that goes in the bottom. It's, you know, uh, saute it, white wine, and then fill it up with water and let it cook for like three hours. So it's pretty easy. Yeah, and then you just strain out the stuff using and like it'll a mesh last, strainer. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, all the solids. Um, and then it lasts, eventually I'll do a video on this, but it lasts like a week in the fridge and then like three months in the freezer. So yeah. we usually freeze all of these except one and then we just pull them out when we need. But and uh, what's nice is he bought this big pack and we're, we try to be good about not buying like throwaway plastic. So we just reuse these over and over again. Yeah, yeah, I got we'll this We'll like huge... label it, peel off the label and throw it away when we use it again. We just wash them in the dishwasher. Yeah, I got this huge thing on Amazon and they're all one quart and it was like, 12, 12 bucks yeah. and we've so, never even used most of these because we keep re reusing the same, the same five or six safe. yeah and they they work they clean really well in the dishwasher i was surprised i thought they'd kind of melt but no anyway way too much info on all this but it really is nice to have yeah we do still usually buy like chicken broth and veggie broth um and like as backup hand, so like yeah. literally yeah i bought a couple yesterday because those last in the cupboard for like a year <laughs> probably too long but yeah they do <laughs> <laughs> classic preservative filled things. And I don't salt this when I make it, and so there's no salt in it, and then you can salt it when you cook. actually cook, based mm -hmm. on what you're making. I am currently cleaning our um, humidifiers. We have one in our room and one in Gigi's. I like to just use white vinegar and water. Um, I honestly had no idea how to clean these. Just YouTube it, because, and pretty much everyone says to do the same thing. Some people say to use bleach. Um, bleach just kind of freaks me out. <laughs> like, I keep pulling it out thinking maybe I'll try it and then I, I don't. So let me know if you've used bleach. Did you, was it fine? Like anyway, um, but vinegar just seems like a more natural, like safer solution. <laughs> um, but what basically you do is you put like a tablespoon or so of vinegar in with water and you kind of let it sit for 20 minutes in here. I'm letting those rinse in some vinegar water and then same thing, these are filled with water and vinegar and every once in a while I just kind of spill those around. Oh my um, then I'm going to get vinegar on a cloth and kind of get up some of the rest of the little like residue that's on there on the outside. Okay, today we are doing one of the crock pot recipes you guys sent me on Twitter. I was asking for ones where you can just like put all the ingredients in once and leave it on and it's basically done after, you know, four hours, six hours, whatever. So I had quite a few of you guys, I'll put your usernames on the screen, had tweeted this at me and all the reviews online said it was amazing. So three of you guys recommended this to me in different formats. So this is the one, I think two of you guys recommended this specific recipe, but I'll put your names on the screen. Thank you guys for your recommendations. So this is the one I'm gonna make. I think later this week I'm gonna make this one, which is tomato tornellini soup. I think one or two of you guys recommended. So um, that is what we're gonna make today for dinner. I can link our crock pot down below. My mom got us this as a wedding gift. It is very well loved. Um, I should probably like deep clean it. We always of course clean this in the lid, but I need to like deep clean the rest of it clearly. But we have used this so much over the past, what, three, over three years we've been married. Um, so 
I love it. I love that it's got um, hourly settings. You can do warm, low, high. It automatically switches to um, warm after it's done the amount of hours at the temperature you set. So I like it, it's simple enough, but it has enough features that it works really well. I like that it has the clamps. Although I recently learned, oh, Jessica, you did not clean this very well. Um, I recently learned that uh, I thought you were supposed to cook with the clamps. Actually, you're not. You're only supposed to use the clamps like if you're transporting it. Otherwise, you're just supposed to set the lid on top. I literally thought the clamps were like, yeah, not like a pressure cooker, because it's not, but just kind of helped cook. Yeah, I did not clean this well. No judgment, guys. <laughs> okay, so let's get cooking. So we've got all of our ingredients here. Um, sour cream, you don't need this much. This is just the way we roll. Um, I like splurged on the nice kind because I was like, well, um, I don't think you need to. <laughs> um, and then I just got the store brand of cream of chicken soup and I chose French style. It just said frozen green beans, but I thought this would be really good with um, the way that this will end up. And then two pounds of chicken breasts. So it says to grease the bottom with cooking spray. So I'm just putting the chicken in frozen. I pretty much always do that for crock pot meals and it always ends up perfect. And that's why I love them because I'm like, I don't have to worry about defrosting the chicken and because that takes time. So I actually only need half of this bag, but you just put the stuffing on top. Love stuff like that when it's exactly half because if I like this I can make it again in a few weeks and I've already got that ingredient done and I bought more actually I bought two of each of these as well so I'm like golden and we always have chicken we always have sour cream so I've got a half a cup of water three-fourths a cup of sour cream and then that can of cream of chicken soup and we are gonna mix this and then dump it on top of that so we are going to dump this on top oh so satisfying so I just got the last bits out of that bowl. Beans on top. Oop, dump them on top. Oh, yes. And just kind of even it out. So we're gonna cover it. It says cook it on low for six hours or high for four. We've got time. It's about, well, it's almost two. I'm thinking I might go ahead and do high for four because that'll put us around put us around 6 p.m. that we'll be eating, um, give or take. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it on high for four. Okay, it's already on high. Oh, it was already on four. Four hours high, that's it, lid on. This is the best part about crock pot meals. You've got like dishes are done, you know, it's all cooking. So then when we eat, we'll just have the dishes from us eating, of course. It is time to put away some clean laundry. Um, we've got a happy girl over there. <laughs> she is making monster noises at herself in the mirror there too, it's pretty cute. So, hi, hi monkey. She's happy. Um, so, uh, get this task done and then it's over with. I realized I never finished telling you guys why we're kind of laying low today and not taking her. We were gonna go to this really cute Santa party and we were so excited to go and we were so sad to not be, but she's still coughing a lot and obviously her raspy breathing. I feel like it kind of ebbs and flows and what she was uh, diagnosed with when we took her to the ER like a week-ish ago was uh, bronchiolitis. So the doctor said it's, it can kind of come and go, um, but if, if she's still not better after a couple weeks to come back or if any like really scary episodes. And she's been fine, she's been decently happy, but I didn't wanna bring her there and get like all the other kids that are there sick right before Christmas. I was like, it's not worth it. So hopefully next year, but, and I mean her meeting Santa, she won't care. It's totally more for us and getting a picture, but um, Anyway, so I was sad to not go, but at the same time, I just didn't want to get other kiddos sick. Finally wrapping up, getting rid of this tree out here. <laughs> it is, we've had this pile of like just the, the real, the top branches. And again, I have so much kindling, I don't need it. And all that stuff. So I'm finally getting today to burn it. And I am so glad to have this pile gone. Just a little bit longer. Whew. In case you were interested, we use this for Gigi's clothes right now. I really like it. We used to use Dreft. Um, we ran out and then I bought this on Grove and I was like, it's perfect and it works really well. For our clothes, we use this. We buy it at Costco. It's a more natural one, but it also, they say it's got built-in fabric softener. We still have some left from when we just had it before. So we use this for towels still, but um, we don't really feel like we are missing anything by not having the extra fabric softener. So just something to think about. Um, but yeah, so we've been using this and then we had, hold on, got all messed up, but um, we had these Baby Gannix dryer sheets for her. Um, these didn't do anything. I mean, it would maybe reduce the static, but they were really odd because um, they didn't have, you know, chemicals and stuff in it, but um, not worth the money. I wouldn't buy again. Honestly, with Gigi's stuff, I feel like it's 
soft enough, like just using the, you know, gentler, fa uh, not fabric softener, but detergent that I don't feel the need to have like an additional dryer sheet with her stuff. Well, it took like a solid two hours, but it is finally done. I'm so happy to be rid of that pile of sticks. Ah, that's a good feeling. All right, I think Jessica and I are gonna take Gigi and Pinocchio on a walk. That'll be fun, woohoo! Little Miss Gigi decided that it was her nap time, so she and Jessica stayed home, and Pinocchio and I are doing, doing a boy's walk, and he's having the time of his life. <laughs> he's stopping every five feet, smelling everything. Ah, life is so good, right, buddy? Yeah. So, okay, just follow me. I know where we're going. <laughs> also, here's the great debate. Do you guys like the colored lights better? Or do you like, like, all white lights? Because that's what we have. We have all white lights, and I really like the all white lights. Um, but I also like the colored lights because it reminds me of, like, the 90s and, like, growing up. So that's the big debate. Also, do, what, what are your thoughts on the things that, like, project onto the houses? I don't know how to feel about those. What are, what are your thoughts? <laughs> Look how good this turned out. So I ended up after about three hours kind of, well, maybe two and a half stirring it. And then um, after about three and a half hours, I took the chicken out, shredded it, and then put it back in. I don't, the recipe doesn't say to do that. I think you can just eat the chicken as it is, but I like shredded chicken kind of more like casserole like. So it worked out really, really well. We're going to taste it here in a sec. I'm going to try it. Here. try it. It's super hot. It literally just came out, but we're going to try it. Oh, it's easy. It's hot. It's good though. Good. Dang, that's real good. I think we're gonna take her to the doctor again. Tomorrow. Again, she's raspy again. She sounded so much better. And then today she sounds all raspy again. It's easy. This little girl just cut another tooth. Coming in in the top. We were wondering, she was so fussy um, and just like more than usual. Yeah. And I thought it was because she's obviously still sick. And we, I think we are gonna take her to the doctor tomorrow. But um, we were giving her some yeah. of this little teething oil, and I'm feeling up there, and I'm like, <gasps> You can feel it coming through. Uh, oh my goodness. Does it feel any better? She's like, No. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so we have this like homeopathic stuff. I don't know if it actually works, but she seems to she like seems it. She seems to like it, and it does kind of yeah. calm her. I'm like, Whatever. It's and again, like... Maybe it's just like, she's like, Mmm. Tastes kind of, you know what I mean? Like just kind of calms effect. her down, yeah. I put it in my mouth. It doesn't like numb at all, but mm, just jump, get your mind off it, maybe. Yeah. We're gonna go get a bath. We're gonna Daddy go get give you a bath tonight. So I wanted to show you guys. They sent these to me, um, but I've bought so many of their things like with my own money, and they I've just talked about them. So that anyway, it doesn't matter. They did send these to me, but it's this brand called the Cosmetic Archive. The woman is so sweet. I think she said she was a subscriber of mine, so it was like extra meaningful. They now have a brush holder, which, I mean, it's it's just a plastic square, yes. But I love their logo. If you didn't want the logo, you can just turn it around. But this, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with sponge holders. This one has holes in the back. I need to clean it, obviously. But you could just leave it flipped backwards. Um, you could leave it up, you can close it. I just love it, having a spot, and I love, like, I think, okay, let me move this crap. Hold on. Well, I think that looks so pretty. Just like, da, 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 just all put together. So anyway, highly recommend. I will link these below. They'll just be the regular links, not referral or anything. I'm not getting any kickback. I just think, especially this is so cool. This is cute, but this is like genius. Why are you filming me? What do you work here or something? <laughs> be quiet, she's sleeping. I'm, I'm kidding, I was talking to myself. <laughs> Wait. Who are you? Um, I don't know, who am I? Where am I? Who am I? I actually don't know what that two balls are. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no Just concern. sing it full speed of calm Wilkinson. Who is that guy? Where did he come from? Why can he sing so high? So many people don't know what we're talking about, but the ones that do are like, yes. My favorite right? is in the like the tenth anniversary, like the concert version. He's ten years older, and I, I don't think he can sing quite as high as he used to when he was probably in his late twenties or whatever. And he's just like screams. It's awesome. <laughs> Two, four, six, oh! <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about Les Miserables, in case you didn't catch it. Anyway. Um, so we're gonna cut it here. I feel like I'm just lounging. Why? Are you Why is this on me? <laughs> I don't know, because you're cute. Oh. This is Gigi's favorite room, because she's like, baby, baby, there are babies everywhere. Babies, babies. <laughs> There's another mirror there. <laughs> so many mirrors. Um, also, I only have like 12 episodes left of Community. 
So how many seasons were there? Five? Six. Six. Six seasons in a movie. And there's a movie? No. <laughs> it's from the show. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, okay. So what show should I watch next? I'm okay, but to, me like, too. I want in on this now. To watch what next thing? Next thing, whatever that is. Okay. We can watch it separate. Something that's because I know we because need, like yes. because so let's 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 list off what we already watched. Okay, but I specifically like a twenty-two minute comedy, like sitcom kind of thing. Not like because we have long shows that we're watching. We're watching Maisel and Jessica. Did you ever finish um, House of Cards? I'm still or, working on that. I will finish it. Just what's the other one you watched finished. that I didn't like? Handmaid's uh, Tale. I didn't like Handmaid's no, Tale. No, no, noob. You have to keep going. Not fair. I'm like Although, four episodes in, and I'm like, no, it takes a while, I don't man. Care. Have you ever read a book? <laughs> Gotta get past chapter four. Okay. Anyhow. Um, so yeah, sitcom, you know, thirty minute comedy. What should we watch? We watch. So we watch. Yep. Sunny, Family Guy, Pop's Burgers, The Office, The Office, Parks and Rec. Parks and Rec. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just repeating my, my teleprompter back there. Um, um. What else do we watch? I feel like we watch so much. Community, more, but... Fuller House, and Full House. And for, I mean, I watch so many shows. That's the thing. I mean, I don't even know where. But those are like comedy wise. Yeah. So don't uh, name those, but name other ones. <laughs> yeah. I, Anywho. All right. So we're going to cut it off there. Okay. I have to go to the bathroom. I can't keep holding this. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm doing the dance. <laughs> anyway. All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And on his channel, Tyler Travels TV. Go subscribe. Go say hi. He's handsome. He's smart. It's Tyler. <laughs> Bye.